studio today as Salford City face Hartlepool Hill United in FA Cup action. Now I've got a special guest with me today, Gary Stockforth, how are you doing? Hello everyone, not so bad, <laughs> bit cold. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit cold, but what are your thoughts on the game today, are you excited? Obviously it's, been good to, it's good to come down and see a few familiar faces, obviously the, the roles have really turned when we played Hartlepool in the FA Cup, we were the massive underdogs, now obviously Salford are the big fish, so we'll see, it should be a good game. Fingers crossed, we'll have a Salford win. Now, if you guys at home, if you want to watch the game today, go to live.salfordcityfc.co.uk. It's the only way you can watch the game today, and it is exclusively available to UK viewers due to the Emirates FA Cup rights, so make sure you tune in and support the club. Now, it's going to be a bit of a different game today. We've got a new manager in charge, Richie Wellens. Um, what's your thoughts on Richie Wellens taking charge? Um, well, I remember him, he was a player, played against him when he was at Salford, and I remember being like a really good player, like a to get the ball down and pass the ball, so I imagine that's what they've decided to go for and to get him in to play a different like, brand of football than possibly what they were used to. But um, obviously, it's his first game in charge. I'm sure all the players have been told, you know, fresh start, new manager, go and prove, you know, prove himself to him. So obviously, we'll, we'll guess we'll see. Do you think Hartlepool United will be um, a tough game? Do you think it'll be just really different? I think it'll be a tough game. I think it's a cup game. I mean, I've, I've just signed for uh, Clitheroe and we got beat straight away by a team in the league below. So it's the cup game. You get, up, get yourself up for a cup game and you know, you're only a few rounds off the big boys coming in. So they'll be up for it. Hopefully Salford will be able to match them and then the quality should come through in the end. Now, you've had some good FA Cup memories. Should I say, what's kind of like your best FA Cup memory that I you've think, had? I think the... Um, well, all, all that run in general, I think we had like some like 10 games leading up to the Hartlepool game and obviously there were some great ones like just getting into the first round when we beat Southport, that was you know, a massive achievement for me because I'd never played in the first round before. But obviously the night on the, I guess Notts County, the Friday night under the lights, you know, all your family and friends watching, you know, millions watching on the BBC were just amazing, so that's got to be the standout moment. Now in that Hartlepool United FA Cup game, we've spoke to some other players recently, O'Halloran and we spoke to Pooley as well about their thoughts and they said it was quite unlucky in that Hartlepool United game. What were your thoughts about, about the game? I think it was unlucky. We, we didn't really do ourselves justice in the first game. I thought, you know, getting a team at home, you've got to maybe put it on them a little bit more. But obviously we took the draw and we went up there and I just remember playing there and I'm thinking, how have we not scored a goal here? We could beat the post and really good chances. But it's like you go away from home, if you don't take your chances against a full-time side, you will eventually get punished. I mean, we've got Steve Ayrson at the back playing 110 minutes. He's going to get knackered. You know, he's, he's not built for long, long distances. He's a big lad. So, <laughs> so, so we've got punished, which uh, was, a, was a sickener. Yeah. But obviously we end up rallying and going on to get promoted that season. Anyway. So it was a great season, full of, probably my best season in football, oh, definitely. <laughs> well, as well as that today, you talked talk about in that Hartlepool game that there were so many chances, you know, hit the bar and everything. Do you think today will be just about finishing those chances created today? Yeah, I think, you know, even even at any level, if you have loads of chances and you keep missing them, the other team will have a spell where they get a couple and if they go and score, it's just, it just kills you. It kills your momentum, kills your, kills your team morale. So obviously, if they get a good clear-cut chance, if you take it, it just settles everyone's nerves and then they can go on and carry on and hopefully get the win. Now, obviously, thank you for that. We have spoke to another former Salford player, James Poole, as I said, who's in Australia. So we decided we, decided we weren't going to speak to him on this show because it might be a bit too much in the early hours for him. <laughs> so we've done a pre-recorded interview with him, and this is what he said on the game today. Now, obviously, Salford City faced Hartlepool on Saturday in the FA Cup. Now, you've played at both of those clubs, so I want to talk about your favourite memories that you've had with both sides, but... We'll start with Salford because you know we're up in Salford today. So, what's your kind of favourite memories from them when you played for us? I think the obvious one is the um, that FA Cup game at Notts County. Um, you know, it was uh, even the the game before. You know, I won't didn't want to mention the goal, but <laughs> I'll bring it up. Um, well, just the run we went on to to take Salford to a place that. 
they'd never been before in, in the first round. You know, it's a, it's a dream for, for everybody involved in non-league clubs. Uh, we obviously had the documentary going on at the same time. So there was the added pressure, but there was the excitement there as well. And I think the whole build up to the, um, to the Notts County game, uh, that whole week leading up to it was, was brilliant. And to be honest, I, throughout the week, I never thought there was going to be a different result than a, than a Salford win. Uh, the game came and you know it went it went really well for for all of us you know some some brilliant performances and I think that was that was a memory and I've said it before that it was probably my best night and my best game in football um, and it's something you know I'll I, I still hold really close to me and uh, just talking about it as well you know it, it gets me uh, it gets me it's excited for football. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Now, as well as that, so the FA Cup is it. You said that that's one of your best memories, kind of thing, playing in it and stuff. How how good is the FA Cup, and do you think that Salford will have like a good chance this season? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's so cliche to talk about the the magic of the FA Cup, but it's the, it's a cliche for a reason because that's exactly what it is. It gives uh, it gives teams in lower divisions who are you know going into games as, as huge underdogs. It gives them the opportunities to you know pit the wits against teams you know a league two three four leagues above them and on the day in 90 minutes or 180 minutes over uh, if there's a replay it it gives players and clubs an opportunity to to really make history and you know I was really fortunate to to do that as as part of that Salford squad we've that that's etched in Salford Salford history now and you know speak to speak to fans and, and former players that's that's a night that they still hold as one of the best in their their either football playing or football watching career. Um, for, for the teams that are at the higher level, it gives them it's it's all the pressure is on them. You know, I I played in ties. So, you know, when I was at Hartlepool uh, the first time round, we we played non-league teams. They took us to replays, and it's uh, it's tough, but it's also exciting because you also get to be part of a game where. Uh, the other team is doing everything they can to to beat you. It's their, you know, it's their cup final, and you're going to to grounds where the fans will do whatever they can to put you off your game. But it's all part of the fun. It's a it's a brilliant opportunity to to watch football, to play to play in it as well. And, and the further you go, the better. Now, obviously, those two sides are going to be facing each other on Saturday. How are you going to feel during the game? Is it going to be a bit difficult, a bit torn? Um, the game will probably kick off at about 4am, so I'll probably be fast asleep during the game. Um, yeah, it's it's great to see them, you know, come up against each other. It happened in, you know, the game following uh, Notts County in 2015. Uh, we played played them then as Salford as, as huge underdogs. And I think we were we were really unlucky and, you know, we, we really didn't deserve to lose that. So there'll be an element of... Um, Salford will probably want a little bit of a little bit of revenge, but now they're uh, they're the so-called big fish. They're they're in the league above. Uh, you would look at the game, you know, as a neutral and say, Hartlepool are probably the underdogs, but the players and the fans they'll all have that feeling as, you know, we want to we want to take a scalp here. And I think people, everyone knows what Salford's all about. They they look at Salford probably as a bit of an extra scalp because of everything surrounding the club. So it'll be a really exciting game. Um, and I'm looking forward to, looking forward to seeing, the, seeing the result when I wake up in the morning. So that is what James Poole said. And as you were saying, a bit of waffling from him. Yeah, he goes on a bit, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> we'll let him off, we'll let him off. Yeah, we'll Scott let him off. Good goals. I mean, he did say that he was going to wash his hair just for the interview, and he did do that. Did he? Yeah. Why would he? Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was what James Field's thoughts were on the game. Obviously, his former sides were over the club, so he said that he's not going to be too torn, he's just going to wake up and hopefully see a good result. I'm not sure which side he's going to go for, though. <laughs> but I want to know what your score prediction is. Um, I'm going to be boring, I think. I'm going to go 2 1 Salford. Ah, I think that's boring. Think, a few goals. I think I think Salford will score early, um, and I think they'll get a second, and I think they'll get a consolation goal out of the goal. Right, okay. I'm not like to gamble though, so I haven't put it on. But if you are <laughs> like to gamble, there you go. So, 
Who do you think is going to score for Salford then? Well, we are looking at team sheets, a lot of te- names have changed. Yeah, I know. Ibitori's going to score. Well, you know, we would love a Ibitori <laughs> goal, we really would. Who well, would you give the second to? Um, I'd, probably, I'd probably say you're at Toure again. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'll take two. that. He's the only player that I know in the team, so the only one that I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We'll take that. I mean, if it's always been busy this week. And an own goal as well, because I don't know any other team. So, <laughs> two goals and an own goal, two one. An own goal. <laughs> All right then. We will take that, that's for sure. Um, so, if it's always been busy this week as well. So, if the fans at home, if you haven't seen it already, Ibi Torre made Tinfoil FA Cup last year for us, which was interesting. Um, and then he's decided this year that he's going to judge it and he's decided to pick Ash Hunter and Brandon Thompson Santé to make the FA Cups. Really? They're, these they're interesting. Here? So these here are actually, so that one is former player Nathan Pollard. That's the one you've done. Unfortunately, it isn't. I'm not that talented in that department. They're from Erlen Primary School, so thank you to everyone who made them. Very good. We've also got Ibi Torres from last year, that's there too. Is it behind that one? Uh, Is that it? That, that, that's it. Okay. It was, um, it's interesting. And then, do you want to pick up these, mate? Yeah, of course. This is, um, this, <laughs> that is, it's a bit rude, that, 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 that's Ash Hunters. Um, Brandon Thomas and Santa described it as a spaceship. Um, <laughs> I'm going to play the fifth. Okay, and then, we also have Brandon Thomas Asante's. That's a good, that's a good one. Yes, but it's quite good that one. Sorry, that's better. I'll give it that one. Yeah, I, I, I rate that one. Um, you can see why I haven't put one of them on display, can't yeah, you? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's why I haven't put that on display. But the watershed's not on yet. That's no, I'm yeah, doing. that's definitely why. So, <laughs> everyone get in the comments if you have made a tinfoil epic up, because I know a lot of the fans have been getting involved. We've also Ian Henderson, we've had Chris Casper who decided to help making out ones as well. So that was interesting and a surprise as well. So make sure you get involved at half time, we'll show everyone your Simpoil FA Cups and get your score predictions in as well on the live chat. Now, I like your score prediction, but do you think that it's going to be quite tough? So, in Hartlepool United, there's a former Salford player there as well, Mark Shelton. Um, do you think that he might get a goal against us? Yeah, like, well, he's, obviously, he's on, he's on the bench. Well, on the team sheet, but yeah. yeah, I think he'll be looking to. I remember playing against him a few times. He likes to have a shot, doesn't he, from yeah. from anywhere? So I can, if he's going to come on, he's definitely going to have a shot. So obviously, if he catches it, you never know. But yeah, they'll be they'll be a good team. I think they manage they manage a good manager. Um, they've got you know nothing to lose really. Like obviously we were, so they're going to give it everything. I think it's going to be a really good game. I just think Salford in the end will have just enough to put them aside, especially at home. Well, fingers crossed. Now, if you look on your screens right now, you'll be able to see the full lineup on there. But if you're on your phone and you want someone to read it out for you, we have Basar Faladki in net, Ibu Torre, Jason Lowe, Ash Easton as captain in the side. We've got Ash Hunter. We've also got Deshaun Bernard, who is starting, so that's a big change. We've got George Boyd as well making his start for the club. Jordan Turnbull, James Wilson, Brandon Thomas Asante, and Ian Henderson. And on the subs, we've got Hayden Evans, Tom Clark, Luke Armstrong, Bruno Andrade, Oscar Threlkeld, Manny Dizarue, and Martin Smith as well. So, quite a strong side. Um, do you think any of our subs will be the dangerous ones that will come off, maybe? Um, we'll see. Obviously, the manager's gone with who he thinks, is, you know, you've got to start going off to win the game. Obviously, we'll see what happens. See, I'll probably see how the game plays out. If, they, if they're cruising, then obviously you might chuck a couple of subs onto fresh and things up. But, Obviously, if they're getting beat, then you might be chucking an extra striker on. So you just we'll see how the game goes. I guess all managers do that. Yeah, they definitely do. Now today, because of the COVID situation, there's a new kind of FA Cup rule where after this, it doesn't go to a replay. Unlike, really, yeah. unlike what you guys had to have to yeah, do last time. Yeah, you were. Yes. <laughs> so this time round, it'll go to extra time, thirty minutes extra time, and then if there's still no winner, it'll go to a penalty shootout. Do you think that's even more pressure on the last today? If it goes to penalty shootout, we're going to have to go back to the car and get something warmer to wear. <laughs> on, but yeah, um, I suppose, yeah, especially if you're the home team, it's probably an advantage because you want to get it finished here and now. Yeah. You know, the, the extra time just gives a sort of more of a chance to, to put the game to bed on home patch, on home soil. So, it should be a good thing. I want to ask as well about being on home soil. So, obviously, Ratcliffe Stadium, more lane when you played here. Do you, um, 
Do you think it's an advantage playing at home? I know we're without fans, but is it still an advantage? Well, the season when we, the second season, we ended up winning like 19 away games on the bench and it was our home form that we struggled with. So <laughs> we kept dropping games and dropping points, which I don't know what, well. So um, obviously your home surface should be, you know, it should be a fortress. But obviously with the, the no fans allowed in, then obviously there's a lot less atmosphere and teams can come. It's, it's a bit like, a, not, not a training game, but I think there's a bit like, because fans do make a difference. They, you can say they don't, but they definitely do. It's the atmosphere. It's yeah, exactly. what they say to a keeper even <laughs> when yeah. they're in the stands. It's like the 12th man. Um, and we, without them, it's a bit like a leveller, but that usually means that the team who plays the best football should come out on top. So we'll see. Well, let's see who wins now. Thank you to everyone who sent in your pictures. Here's just a little snippet of what you guys have been up to at home this week. What are we doing today, mate? We're going to make a tin foil FA Cup. Look! Wow, should we cut it out? Yeah. So thank you to everyone for taking part in those Tinfoil FA Cups. Like I said, Ian Henderson decided to take part with his little lad as well. Are you going to be making a Tinfoil FA Cup anytime soon? Um, definitely not, <laughs> but I, I would like to judge any good attempts that people do. I mean, I'm you, good. you know, if you'd like to judge any attempts, that's fine. I, I'll show you them. We can decide at half time the ones that sent it in. Definitely, yeah. What about the ones here, though? Yeah, they're, they're interesting and some are really good. <laughs> but yeah, obviously, it's not easy to do. So no. That's why I refuse, refuse to do it. It definitely is. Now, it's nearly, nearly time for kickoff. If you guys want to watch at home, remember what I said, go to live.salfordcityfc.co.uk to watch the game. Get into the live comments as well to let me know your score predictions and also get your questions in. So at half time, we'll be able to question you to the hill about any questions that the fans want, so be prepared. I'm looking forward to it. It could, could be anything that they ask. We do have some strange questions on this show sometimes that you guys send in. So get in the live comments and let us know and get in the Salford City supporters group as well. And I'll definitely read them at half time. Now before that, I want to ask you, if you were in the changing rooms now before a game, what's kind of your go-to tradition that, that you do? Any superstitions? No, not really superstitions, but I'd always like jump up and down. Like, I don't know. Like, jump up and down? <laughs> yeah, try and get myself going a little bit more and then try and get other people going, which obviously some people would like. And some people who thought they were too cool would just be like, get off me. Come on! Which players would they like too cool for it? I used to have always liked to get in the zone. It was yeah. steely hard. Someone like Webb would so just be like, nah, just leave. <laughs> Danny Webb, just leave me be. I'll be fine. It's <laughs> usually the case, but, but was everyone, everyone's chill. different. Yeah, yeah. He's super Danny chill. Webb was like, he's very chilled in general. Very chilled. Like, even if the game was getting a bit heated, I think he'd still be st still yeah, chilled just, and just, mellow. He just enjoyed playing football. Great player, great lad. Yeah, definitely. Now, what kind of is a good luck message that you'd give to the lads if you're in there now? Um, just, obviously, it's FA Cup. It's knockout football and you've got a chance if you a couple of games to go, can I just do Drew Man United or something? Because we were thinking about that. Yeah. Thinking, oh, yeah. Because I think Hartlepool beat us, then they, they drew Derby. Yeah. And then Derby ended up getting Man United. So we always look saying what ifs, what ifs, but they've got a chance to not even worry about the what ifs, just go and, go and win, win again, and you never know. Now, it's the FA Cup. How important is the FA Cup? It's personally for me, it's one of my favourite competitions. What is it to you? Um, I think it's, 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 a, it's still an important trophy. It's just great for you know, your non-league non teams and your lower, lower down teams to get in a big boy and hopefully create an upset, and you just create memories, don't you? And it obviously, possibly, probably Salford won't, <laughs> won't win it, but they can they can get us, get a lot far further than we, we could have got before, and obviously if you get if you get further, it's more exposure for the club, bigger fan base, and hopefully then keep progressing up the leagues, and then you never know one day, might win it. One day, you never know. Now that Hartlepool United game that you were a part of, that was kind of the furthest that Salford City had got into. Do you think that they'd be able to reach further this season? I think so. Yeah, obviously you've got the draw. The draw's got to be kind here. I mean, there's still teams in the league above that'll be in there. It'll be good, good sides, and they'll want, want, be wanting to get a third round. You know, big, big teams looking up to get a scalp. So I just got to just take care of the business today. Um, see what the draw holds. You know, I think it's Monday. I think the next draw, and just go from there. But you never know. Got to be in it to win it. 
He definitely do. So hopefully Salford City will get that win today against Hartlepool United. And hopefully we'll be chatting at half time and we've got a few goals under our belt. Because otherwise we'd be a little bit sad, won't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we definitely would be. So make sure you tune in at half time for our further chat. Find out more about Gary Stockforth as well. But if you can just listen to it, Dirty Old Town is on right now, which means that the lads will be walking out at any single moment. So it's still time for you to get your match pass to go to live.saltforcityfc.co.uk. It's the only way to watch the game. It's UK viewers only and you have full commentary by Will Moorcroft and you'll have full replays too. So we will see you soon and thank you for watching.